We can define data as a collection of facts, figures, or information that can be processed and analyzed. It can be in the form of text, numbers, images, or other types of information, and is often used to derive decisions or research. Data can be structured, such as in a database, or unstructured, such as in natural language text. First let's talk about how data is collected or generated. What are the different ways or sources from where data is generated or how data is collected? Then we will move over to the big data. Surveys always remain a trusted and reliable source of data collection. It is an easy and cost-effective way to gain insights into customer behavior, preferences, and opinions. The interview method of data collection involves collecting more subjective data, while the questionnaire involves collecting more objective data. A focus group is a market research method that brings together 6 to 10 people in a room to provide feedback regarding a product, service, concept, or marketing campaign. It helps in collecting relevant related data. Document analysis and experiments are data collection methods and conducted by researchers. These data then can be analyzed or processed to produce meaningful conclusions. Administration, government conduct polls and collect census data to represent the opinions of a population which guides government action, influences public policy. These methods are also used in organizations, schools etc. to gather unbiased data. CRM, ERP database and data collected through consumer panels are the resources containing all client information collected, governed, transformed, and shared across an organization. It includes marketing and sales reporting tools, which are useful for leading successful sales and marketing campaigns and increasing customer engagement. From mining to aviation, agriculture to marine, recreation to defense, there are many applications for GPS and related data. These days, everyone from doctors, scientists, organizations, farmers, soldiers, pilots, hikers, delivery drivers, sailors, fishermen, dispatchers, athletes, and people from many other walks of life are using this data in ways that make their work more productive, safer, and easier. IoT data collection involves the use of sensors to track the performance of devices connected to the Internet of Things. The sensors track the status of the IoT network by collecting and transmitting real-time data that is stored and retrieved at any moment in time. Smart thermostats, security systems, smart plugs, and other appliances all use IoT for data collection to ensure energy efficiency, as well as in-house safety. Few other ways to collect data or data generation are purchase history, self-reported data, third-party data, sales data, market research data, transaction data, user testing data, video data, voice data and wearable data. The basic idea or proposition is that data can be generated from anywhere from our daily lives and activities, it depends on the purpose or objective of what data needs to be collected or stored for your use and analysis purpose. Now let's shift our focus to What is big data? What is the significance of it? And how big data is generated and collected. Big data is a collection of data that is huge in volume, yet growing exponentially with time. It is a data with so large size and complexity to be dealt with by traditional data processing application software. Big data is not new, it existed even before the phrase, big data was invented. Big data became important only after emergence of social media in 2008. What happened is data from different sources, discussed previously keep on adding to the ecosystem. In addition to these sources after the emergence of social media, data started generating in large amount through social networking sites, which is human-generated data. Plus the, the data from organizations is growing exponentially and lastly data generating from machines is getting bigger and bigger. With more automated machines, new innovations and introduction of more advanced machines like sensors, 
activity trackers etc. data reached to a point where it could not be handled by traditional data processing application software. Thus after that point data has been started referring as big data. New technologies, tools have been researched, introduced and still evolving to handle this huge amount of data, termed as big data. Let's understand its characteristics first then we look at big data generation process. Big data can be described by the following three information assets or characteristics. Number one, volume, which is amount of data. The amount of data in the world is doubling in every two years. By 2025, we will have around 80 times the amount of data as that we had in 2011. The sheer volume of the data is enormous and a very large contributor to the ever-expanding digital universe is the Internet of Things with sensors all over the world in all devices creating data every second. If we look at airplanes they generate approximately 2.5 billion terabyte of data each year from the sensors installed in the engines. Self-driving cars will generate 2 petabyte of data every year. Number 2 is velocity. The velocity is the speed at which the data is created, stored, analyzed, and visualized. In the past, when batch processing was common practice, it was normal to receive an update from the database every night or even every week. Computers and servers required substantial time to process the data and update the databases. In the big data era, data is created in real time or near real time. With the availability of internet-connected devices, wireless or wired, machines and devices can pass on their data the moment it is created. The speed at which data is created currently is almost unimaginable. Number 3 is variety. Nowadays, 90% of the data generated is unstructured data. Data today comes in many different formats, structured data, semi-structured data, unstructured data, and even complex structured data. The wide variety of data requires a different approach, analyses as well as different techniques, tools to store and treat all raw data. There are many different types of data such as images, text, network data, geographical data, maps, computer-generated simulations, etc. Now let's look at the different sources of big data. First source is data generated through humans. It can include data which is collected manually or through automation and is now accumulated in bulk quantity but majorly we refer to the vast amount of social media data as status update, tweets, photos, videos, etc. The data generated in this category are normally much unstructured. People are generating large amount of data on social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn, online photo sharing sites like Instagram, Picasa and video sharing sites like YouTube. This data comes in multiple formats like images, PDF, PPT, XML, web pages and its volume is huge. Second source is organizations. Organization generated data is highly structured in nature and trustworthy. Organization stores the data for current and future use as well as analysis of past. Organizational data is private to that organization and so is the smallest source in global big data scenario. Relational databases are widely used to store this type of data. Traditionally, IT has managed and processed organization-generated data in both operational and business intelligence system. Consider an example of an organization that collects sales transactions. This transaction records can be used to detect correlated products, estimate demand, capture illegal activity and decide future course of action. Third and biggest source of big data is machines. It is the data generated from real-time sensors in industry machinery or vehicles. Data comes from various sensors, cameras, satellites, log files, bioinformatics, activity tracker, personal health care tracker and many other sense data resources. Take examples of airplane, submarine, 
activity tracker where data comes from sensors attached to them all generates big data from machines. Machine generates the data at real time and normally requires real time action. Real time data often requires in situ processing. In traditional RDBMS model, data is moved to the computational space. In situ, bring the computation where the data is generated. Machines are emerging as largest source of big data. Hope this video helped you in gaining insights about data and big data. If you liked it, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Stay connected as we are coming up with more engaging videos and shorts. Stay healthy life happily. Thanks for watching.